welcome to Roseplay Presents, episode 101, the press conference for Ubisoft 2023. So, here on Roseplay Presents, anything can happen from interviews with content creators, game developers, closed betas, press conferences, reviews of games, movies, just anything can go on. Whatever the heart desires, rather than have normal episodes of the Let's Plays, we do stuff like this. Today, we continue our focus on the press conferences that should have been E3 2020 as I create my own little E3 2020. However... There is honestly a lot going on here. I thought at first... Well, as always, I am your host, Orion Moonrose. <laughs> I always forget that on these ones. But... I had a hard decision to make. There is a countdown, which obviously I, I do skip the countdowns because... It has started with an hour 14, as you can clearly see. There was a Brawlhalla pre-show, but this game has been out for a few years. We didn't come here to watch this, even if there is some good tidbits in here. There is pre-show trailers. I, I don't know if it's going to be in the main show, which is what we're going to watch, but... There was updates on Just Dance, Far Cry, coming in VR. Um, I have no idea what that one is. Agros. It looks like there's some sort of... Aw! Horse and puppy, that's adorable. Must be their pets. Uh, looks like some racing games. That roller derby that was announced at some point. There's For Honor update, but I figured the pre-show trailers, because they, because I, I watched a little bit of everything a few minutes into it, like, I watched, like, two or three minutes, well, I didn't watch anything in the countdown, I watched a few minutes into the Brawlhalla pre-show and the pre-show trailers, and they did announce what was going to be in here, and it didn't seem like anything new that we didn't already know about previous years, and... Yeah, it's part of E3, but I, I felt it was just not as much needed. Uh, the post-show is going to show some games that they announce in here, I believe. I don't know if we'll watch it. Hopefully they talk about it a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and start it at the main show. Because, honestly, that's what most of us tuned in for was the main show. So, let's go ahead and get started with Ubisoft 2020 and see how they can wow us or not wow us. Also, to see if they actually start off with just dance this year like they do every year, or if they decide, yo, we're putting in the pre-show. Oh yeah, I did keep the last 10 seconds, because I always that right now. I apologize if you guys don't, but... This, this, this is Ubisoft. This is Ubisoft. 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 Explore our worlds. Meet the devs. See the games. Join us. I mean, besides, in a normal E3, there's so many conferences going on that you don't. Need Welcome to back to Ubisoft shows. Forward. I'm Yusuf. I'm Neela. Today's show will reveal new games give behind the scenes insights from our development teams, and share some exciting updates on projects you've been waiting for. Let's get started with a game you've been waiting to hear more about since it was teased last year. The gods of ancient Greece need a hero, and it's time to answer the call. Ah, this must be the infinity. Or not the infinity, the, the phoenix As rise. As the world button. crumbles, our divine power sealed away. Even the gods need a hero. Damn! 
Majorn really powered itself up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Scott Phillips, Post and I'm the game director on Immortals Phoenix Rising. I hope you enjoyed our reveal video. I'm sure you noticed a lot of new things since we first teased the game, including a new name. Immortal. Extra production time has allowed us to expand our vision and explore new Good. opportunities like beyond our initial plan. Time. We felt the name Immortals Phoenix Rising better reflected this new experience. Today, we're incredibly excited to give you the first in-depth look at our world, hero, and gameplay. Let's dive in. Cool, cool, cool. Immortals Phoenix Rising is a third-person, open-world action-adventure game set in the fantastical landscape of Greek mythology. I've always been a fan of Greek mythology, You'll so play it's as already Phoenix, gotten there. A Greek warrior shipwrecked on the mysterious Golden Isle. Upon your arrival, you'll meet Hermes, one of the few remaining gods of Olympus. Hermes has heard of a prophecy that only you can save the Greek the gods and reclaim their realm from Typhon, the deadliest titan in mythology. Oh. I didn't know there was a this titan. This entire Typhon. epic story will be narrated by the titan Prometheus and Zeus, the king of the gods, Ooh. adding a unique commentary like and perspective to this legendary tale. Before embarking on this perilous journey, you'll get to create your own phoenix. That's awesome. I love self-creation. And as you progress, you'll find even more opportunities to customize your character by discovering legendary weapons, unique pieces of gear and cosmetics, and earning God's like I'm blessings hot, hot and girl. mythical abilities that can turn the tide of battle. You'll need all the help you can get to save the gods and defeat Typhon once and for all. On your journey to save the gods, you'll grow stronger and achieve new, incredible things, like gliding with the wings of Daedalus, to yeah. jump higher, fight while airborne, and glide freely in the open world. Facing off against dangerous, mythical beasts like the giant Cyclopses, flying harpies, and huge, multi-armed Hecatonkeries. Harnessing the power of the gods to master a tactical and fast-paced, over-the-top combat system, and solving puzzles and challenges scattered throughout the world to help improve your powers. You'll also get to explore an epic, vibrant, and stylized open world filled with secrets, puzzles, and stories rooted in Greek mythology. Kind of reminds me of Zelda. Once a peaceful the home to the, the gods wild. of Olympus, the Golden Isle is now overrun by creatures of the underworld. To stand a chance against Typhon and his minions, you'll need to explore this mysterious land and become a mythical hero yourself. 
The world is divided in multiple regions, all ruled by a different god in need of your help. Ooh. From the lush landscapes of Aphrodite's plains to the mechanical world of Hephaestus' forge, each region is packed with challenging battles, ancient puzzles, and secrets to uncover. You'll have the freedom to explore this entire open world as you wish, right from the beginning of your journey. Finally, stay with us for the post show, where you'll get a look at new gameplay. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. We can't wait for you to play Immortals Phoenix Rising. There's a lot more to show before launch, so keep an eye out for further updates. See you all on December 3rd. I'm so excited to play this game. It's a world I just can't wait to coming to Stadia! Hi, I'm Phil Harrison. We're looking forward to Immortals Phoenix Rising coming to Stadia on December 3rd. We're also excited <laughs> to announce like that all Stadia good. players will get a chance to try Immortals Phoenix Rising with a free playable demo before launch that is exclusive to Stadia. All you'll need is a Gmail account. With just a single click, you'll be able to add the demo to your Stadia library and instantly join Phoenix on her quest to save the Greek gods. Created specifically oh, for the Stadia hurt. demo, Phoenix? Ubisoft have developed an entirely unique island for you to experience. We I hope mean, you'll love it. The exclusive Stadia demo of Immortals Phoenix Rising will be playable later this year in all regions where Stadia is accessible. Thank you to Yves Guimau and the entire Ubisoft Quebec studio for your partnership in bringing amazing experiences to Stadia. The use of Zeus and Prometheus as the narrators in Immortals Phoenix Rising led to a unique style of storytelling. Here's Michelle Ford to tell us more. Wow, we're really sticking with uh, Immortals. My name is Michelle Ford. I mean, I'm lead cinematic designer on Immortals it, but... Phoenix Rising. I think the number one thing that I love about my job is the sense of pride that I get for delivering a scene. Our job is consistent with someone who is actually directing. We get to direct where we're shooting, what lens we're using, and what's happening in the scene. Immortals Phoenix Rising, it's a very narrative-driven game, but it's also very lighthearted and stylized and very comedic. And I feel like that's where we get to shine as cinematic designers. One of the best examples I have actually for this is Zeus and Prometheus are bickering because uh, Zeus is very, very much bored about uh, Prometheus' story. So he decides to spawn some monsters and then they just kind of appear in the world. And then the character sees, so we just kind of crouch them on them because we were trying to hit comedic timing. <laughs> so there's little moments, the kind of like lightheartedness and part of the game that we, we really like to showcase. So Zeus, still kind of Ubisoft really likes to tell stories. And I think that's how you get the players to really be engrossed within a world. <laughs> we want to make them feel something. Aww, Even if it's just a laugh or a chuckle, oh, I think we did our job. Oh, I don't blame him. I mean, she could easily kill Keep an eye out for further point. updates like, uh, on Immortals Phoenix uh, Rising before it oh, launches oh, this December 3rd. Now, now it's Come time back. to revisit a Love dear friend. Long time. Please no kill. Most people think time is like a river. Wait, what? We are? That flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen no the face of time. Way. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Oh, the Inside the hourglass is a marvel no living man Oh my has goodness, seen. yes! Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. No! Ah, uh, the Prince of Persia Sanitized Trilogy is one of my favorites. Father! Ah, uh, this would be amazing if they remade the entire trilogy. I saw my father turn trilogy. to sand. You cannot defeat this enemy. The sands will consume everything. Come with me then. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up! <laughs> Prince! Oh, the amazing. dagger! It can turn sorry. back time! Never! I wonder if they're gonna incorporate anything from the other two 
sequel, knowing that you know they existed. You are free. And good. I remember there was nudity. Let's go. I could look him. When? Oh my god. My that name is, is uh, Anupol. I'm working in an Ubisoft from past 13 years. Anu is you. the senior producer oh, of Prince of Persia Sands of Time, Time Remake. For me, it's a big dream. It's not a project, it's a dream uh, again, that Prince is uh, coming favorites. true. Original Prince of Persia, you know, people love this game. It has put a mark in everyone's heart. And now what we are going to do is we are going to bring it back because still people have that nostalgic feeling. People want to play that game. We are in an well, indie studio. It's a new use of Pune and Bombay. We actually love to work on this game because we can show everyone, you know, what India is. It's something which comes directly from oh, our heart. Like even had it more so, you know, the main game which was uh, made back and then, the main dialogue. essence is there. All the characters are there. You have your prince who is very iconic because who was in I this game. This you game have the princess, like Farah, long, and really. let's not like, you have a wazir who is a main story, villain in this game with like all the sand creatures, you know. Story. It just, we have gave it a boat, bit more flavorness, bit more enhancement. The voice which we are using for the prince is Yuri, the same voice which was back then. You know, it just put nice. goosebumps on our hands also when we heard him because you know, it's something which, which brings back to us to the, that, that nostalgic feeling. How did you... Some people say time is like a river. Yeah, he it flows his swift voice and sure in one direction. Prince. Seventeen years later, but you know the you, main good thing is his voice doesn't amazing. change at all. I don't know how he do it, but it's the same. <laughs> Being able to work on the Prince of Persia is a huge honor because I think it's a beloved game. We respected the original design. We respected the storyline, we respected the characters. We just enhanced everything in the game, from camera to combat, as well as the visuals. We implemented a targeted system, which actually enhanced the velocity of the prince and his abilities to do amazing performance and amazing moves. We use, we use the latest, the latest technology, technology as well as the motion capture to bring realism and to bring logic and sense into it. Like it's for all we heard the stuff. players' desire to so play the Prince of Persia Sands of Time again uh, and we are very pleased out. to bring it as the first ever remake from Ubisoft. It's a beautiful story. We are very, very excited to give you this experience. Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake releases January 2021 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It's time to head over to the virtual city of Neo Arcadia, where an intense and fast-paced battle rages on. Bunny! I don't think I like it. I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah! Yup, you will. Welcome to the inside that ball. You might know nothing. Oh, wow! Oh, that's so good! Five right now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this game looks fun. Oh, cool, look that. Thousands of free. Ora! Ai! Yes! Nice job, guys. Man, that was so hectic. It's us. That's us. That's us. Got him. Oh, 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 o
this one is for the fans. Is it? No. Cara, você não tá entendendo. Isso é hoje, aqui. Isso é, a gente tem que ir lá. It's a heartbeat. A pulse. A distant vibration. <laughs> it's a surge. Oh, it is. A rush. The raw of a nation. It's nothing you could have predicted. But everything you believed in. It's nothing you expected. You have achieved. It's nothing you could have trained for. Yet everything you would have wanted. It's bigger than you could have imagined. Yet everything you always Never really been game, but that's just It's everything you achieved. Everything you cared about. It's everything you accomplished. Everything you cheered for. It's in every strategy planned. In every inch you gained. It's more than gaming. It's more than just support. It's Sheriff. Sitting in the center here, first line in open area. But they all know he gets taken down. Something from the defense. Through there, there goes on the side. It's gonna run the corner. Who finds one kill? The second one goes down. Share every moment. Share every action. Share every emotion. Share every struggle. Share every success. And every triumph. Yeah, share it with your friend, your family, your teammates, your people, your country. Share the unforgettable. Why did it look like Rainbow Vegas? Director for Ubisoft. Today, we are proud to have more than 60 million players of Rainbow Six Siege, and we can say that we are oh, top tier esports so title. It was the right game, moment Siege. to have a, a new layer of competition. We are working on esports for the last five years oh, okay. when we define a professional system, a new organization, expecting. and regional model. So it the Rainbow Six so World Cup like is a new layer of competition of our esports ecosystem. It will be the first time we have a country-based competition for our esports title. In the Rainbow Six World Cup, we'll have 20 teams participating to the main event, but more than 45 countries will participate to the qualifier. For such a special occasion, we are very happy to introduce Tony Parker, our ambassador for the Rainbow Six World Cup. I'm very proud to be with Tony Parker today. So you will be the ambassador of our first Rainbow Six World Cup. That's so, what I heard. Yes. The rumor. It's the rumor in the streets. <laughs> so you are part of uh, all the process of uh, thinking about the World Cup. Uh, you will meet uh, the players, the coaches. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy, very excited about the opportunity to be an ambassador of the Rainbow Six for the first Rainbow Six uh, World Cup. Uh, thanks for, for, for choosing me. Uh, I'm excited to meet all the players and uh, explain to them how special it is uh, to play for your country. Uh, it's very different than team playing, you know, like when you go to your country and you listen to the national anthem and you have the goosebumps and, and you know, uh, uh, it's, it's a great honor. These guys, they play for organizations that don't play for their country yet. Uh, for them, it will be something completely different. Uh, it will be the first time they will not play with their teammates, they play uh, usually. Uh, what would be your advice? Enjoy yourself because it's a unique experience uh, to play in an international competition. Uh, and then there's all the pressure around it, you know, because when you play for your country, a lot of pride comes in and, and it's going to be a whole new uh, competition. Uh, but I'm sure uh, if they can feel what I felt, you know, they will love the, the experience. And, uh, and I think in the global scale for Ubisoft, and Rainbow Six to take that challenge to do a, a, a World Cup. Uh, I think it can be big, you know, for the future, for the future of the game. I think it's just a, a huge uh, opportunity, you know, and I'm very proud to be part of it. An ambassador like NBA champion Tony Parker just adds to the excitement for this massive event. Keep your eyes on all the Rainbow Six Siege social accounts for more updates. We're not done just yet with Rainbow. A new season is starting tonight. So let's see what the team has planned. Hi, I'm Leroy, creative director of Rainbow Six Siege. The Rainbow Six World Cup is going to be exciting and bringing the best players from countries all over the world in summer 2021. But for now, let's focus on you what hope. is happening in the game <laughs> right now. A couple of years ago, we made we the commitment to be live for at least 10 years. And now. today, we are already close to the halfway point of this symbolic milestone. 
We are not only maintaining this commitment, but we are doubling down by investing more than ever to make the game grow and evolve. This season will be Siege's biggest one to date, and we're excited to bring a familiar face to the Rainbow Six Operator roster permanently. Sam Fisher, our callsign zero in Siege, is bringing his combat experience Whoa. and training into the game. We are a huge fan of Sam, and we wanted to show you how he fits within our universe. Actually, yes, Check I this do out. actually want to see that. I'm a big fan of uh, Splinter Cell. Lyra. How does that stuff work on arthritis? The nanobots should help. But you'll pay for it tomorrow. Well, that sounds fair to me. Harry says you're here to whip us into shape. That true? Let's find out. Move out, people! Well, let's find out! Oh, no, I failed. But they didn't shoot somebody a little bit earlier, so probably dead. Mierda. How did the first lesson go? You might want to call a medic. R and D is set up the facilities you requested. Yeah, <laughs> you might want to call. Same a time medic. tomorrow. Badass is out the of there. Splendid. Anything else I can do for you, Sam? Yeah. Call me Zero. Call me Zero. The new season is live right now, and we're excited to get your feedback on Zero and the rest of features coming out. Before I go, we also wanted to share some more good news for our players. As you know, this year is special, since the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are coming out. True. Today, we want to announce that we are going to bring you the best Siege experience on console in 2020, with up to 4K and 120 FPS by the end of the year. And best of all, current console players will all get this update for free once they upgrade good, to the next-gen platform know. of the same family. Still got a few months before they come As out. we said, we are in this for the long run, and we have plans for years to come. Thank you. Now it's time for a sneak peek at another fan favorite making its return. Well, you surprised me with Prince of Persia, and I am so ecstatic, so what's this new return? What else could you surprise me with? Oh! The green stuff, now throw it back, I just need to buy it in the store. And anniversary. So, it's a uh, remaster, I don't Time to check in on the dystopian police state of future London. Music is a huge cultural touchstone, and when you're working on a game uh, that's set in a real place, now? it's something yep. that you have to focus Watch really dogs. hard on to make sure you get it right. Uh, when we asked Londoners who was an artist who would really reflect and, and underscore the themes of Watch Dogs Legion, uh, you know, speaking up for the oppressed and holding those in power accountable, there was one name that came up over and over again. 
This guy went from, you know, freestyling in the London underground music scene to headlining at Glastonbury in less than five years. He's had massive critical and commercial success. He's been on the cover of Time magazine. He's won dozens of awards. Um, and he really has used his voice to speak up and fight for social and political change. Yo, you were so forward, it's your worst easy there, and I'm proud of when to announce that I'm a part of the British Coast Legion. You know what about to have minds blown, what they have done in terms of recreating love is the most insane, epic, incredible thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to be a part of it. You guys are about to get an exclusive sneak peek of some behind the scenes footage and we'll show my kind of music people are ready for, which is going to be a part of the game. Me and manager got a the Oh, he's actually The excitement in the game. he phoned me with, I hadn't heard since I got booked for Glass, though. Because I was like, yo, bro, there's this game. I'm getting. That's cool. City has been through oh, the ringer. Now it's fallen into the hands of criminal organizations vying to control whatever's left. It's all gone to shit. Lucky for us, our underground hacker collective Deadsec is here to build a resistance. With but where the do old we start? Look around. Hipsters, punks, football fans, construction workers, paramedics, annoying tourists, grandparents? What do they all yep. have in common? Any one of them could become your next playable hero. Create a uh, safer girl. city. <laughs> Let's do some recruiting, shall we? Well, this one looks promising. Let's hack into his profile. Ah, Dan, a getaway driver. He has a completely custom vehicle to make for a fast exit. And, ooh, an anti-chase ability, making him immune to those pesky chase drones. He can also hack vehicles to clear the way. That'll come in handy in hot pursuit. Well, let's see him in action. Or how about Eleanor? A hacker could always be useful. Thanks to her viral hacking skill, her hacks propagate, affecting oh, wow. everything in the surrounding Steel area. She also an can electrify range. enemies with her shock hack and can steal access keys without needing to enter an enemy location. That's actually cool. Epic. <laughs> Feeling a little more artsy in your approach? Teresa is a street artist. Her paintball gun gives her a non-lethal way to take out enemies. That's and she awesome. has paint bombs that can disorient them. I like non-lethal ways. That's awesome that they're putting that in there. Not bad, eh? So how do you convince the people of London to join your team? Talk to them and find out what it takes to prove that your cause is worthy. Tell me what's wrong. I witnessed Albion doing some peak shit. These Clan Kelly guys, they've gone too bloody far. My friend's gone missing. Don't worry. Let's have will find them. After you help them, they will join your ranks and become the stars of your story. That's awesome. As you explore London, keep a lookout. I some of the most legendary recruits are not someone you just run into every day. Like this robotic beekeeper, Shelby. She can wreak havoc using her bee swarm. She also has a unique weapon, the Overcharger. 
Her suit gives her shock immunity, ah. so she can take more damage from certain attacks. My God! Not me! You can recruit the old bloody city if you want. Doesn't mean you should. Henry <laughs> here's got low mobility, so he's not really fit for a mission that requires you to be nimble. Right. And Mark, he's a hitman. Seems like the perfect recruit. But if you're approaching a stealth mission, maybe you should keep an eye out for another hitman whose attributes don't include hiccups. No matter who you recruit, you can specialize each individual to complement your playstyle by choosing one of the many unlockable weapons and gadgets like the missile drum, the AR cloak, the spider bot. Yes, I did say spider bot. Spider bot. This is your team. Make it the way you like. Recruit skillful people adapted for various types of missions. Or go with weirdos and grannies. No one's here to judge. So get out in the streets and assemble your dream team. London is calling. Hello everyone, my name is Latif Stoyanathan. I am the live producer on Watch Dogs Legion. On behalf of the entire dev team, I want to send a huge thank you to all the fans for the love and support since our announcement. And today, I'm happy to announce that an old friend is coming back. Ooh, is who I think it is? Fight back, easy to say. Our oh my deal. God, I think it is. Maybe. I just want the city needs. Oh my! Are I was just talking about this. Me? London. Aiden! Oh, that's you awesome! You asked, and he's back. Older, but not necessarily wiser. Aiden Pierce will be a fully playable character in Ooh. Watch Dogs Legion as part of our post launch plan. Playable hero, sorry. Found to take them out! And that's not all. We're gonna open up a whole new chapter in his story as part of our standalone DLC included in our season pass. Stay tuned and welcome to the Resistance. Everyone has a good reason to join the Resistance in Watch Dogs Legion. Character. The fight for freedom begins on October 29th. Ubisoft Forward will be back in the upcoming months with more of everything you want to know about our developing games. But before we go, here's one more thing. Again, by the time this is probably posted, the game will already be out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the look of the guy. Like, oh my. my name is Charlotte. I work in Ubisoft NSC and I'm a senior community developer. Today, I'm very excited to announce our new IP, Riders Republic. Riders Republic is a mass multiplayer game where you enjoy extreme sports outdoors together with your friends and the community. Our studio is known for its expertise on many multiplayer games and there is a huge word to explore, so I'm very excited. Riders Republic for me is about just killing it on dream terrain with the sickest extreme sports and doing it with other people. For Rider Republic, Republic, you enter into this, into this world, world with all these people around you, which gives you a ton of possibilities to group up with them, to challenge them, to experiment with different extreme sports on different types of terrain. You have forest, you have snow, you have sand, you have mountains, you have cliffs. It's amazing when you see all these people just flying around you, jumping off of jumps, jumping through gates. It's just, it's, it's one of those visions that you're like, oh my God, this game's crazy. 
This game is that next gen social, social interaction, interaction game, game with a huge world, world and think, a lot of possibilities. Idea. It's literally an extreme sports fantasy land. Our objective was to really depict natural places and uh, we wanted to go for uh, the biggest, the most impressive natural places in the world. So we decided to go to the US uh, national parks. What we did is actually stitching together seven regions in a way that feels natural. But for each of them, we actually used a GPS data so that everything you see stands there for real. And I think it's a really great experience. Our philosophy was to be able to welcome different kinds of players, uh, let them enjoy the game the way they want, uh, choose their setting, choose their sport, and let them go uh, where they want to go. We're very excited to be able to reveal it to the world. So now I've got one more thing for you to check out. Enjoy it. All right, they just dropped the trailer. Yep. <laughs> my moment of glory awaits. Oh my God! Damn it! How do you work this piece of junk? You don't, don't build them like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Riders Republic, adrenaline junkies. There are no rules here. But what's a republic without a constitution? Am I right? Here's a few truths about how we lay it down. We, the riders, welcome all thrill seekers to the Republic. Proponents of madness, get ready for radness. We, the riders, salute the rationality of irrationality. We, the riders, say that friends who slay together stay together. Oh, yeah. Go quick! Slay the young man. That's they can't slay you, right? They gotta stick with the strong. Fighting a team. If you ride, the Republic will abide. He finds them good at it. Friends. Go row or go home. That looks like an awesome song. <laughs> we the riders insist that you do you always. Out race, out trip, out perform. And gain some cred by sharing the magic with the rest of the Republic. The riders claim the right to bear the best gear. Boards, planks, bikes or wings, whatever bakes your cake. Be it road, freestyle, slope style, enduro, or downhill. As you grow, the drift gets so slick, and it'll help you drop bigger. So is this like an RP? We the riders assure epic events to build your rep. Welcome to Board Game. Thing. It's time to make some history. Sign with hot sponsors and qualify for big time competitions. Make a name for yourself. We never stop doing oh, things right. for the first time. Red Bull Rampage, the harshest and most unforgiving canvas for big mountain free riders. Huge! That one's out of the drink bag! I can't even begin to express how technical that was. Damn, if some of them can do that in real life, definitely <laughs> probably. These are the gnarliest jumps I have ever seen in one row. Oh, massive run! I was gonna say, that was a good falling. Everything nice. We, the riders, invite you to leave the roads and take the trails. Explore the land, climb the peaks, roam the natural world. What is After this all, case? Bad manners to keep the mountains waiting. I'm a little confused at this board game.
riders guarantee a ton of insane contests all the time. There's yeah, trick battles, seeing, grind yeah. your way this through. This looks like putt-putt golf to your death. Do we have one more thing to announce. Boss. New character coming to the studio, Tony Hall. Join community challenges like heavy duty mass races. Oh, 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 they brought up oh, on Agamon Grinder bike. No, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Reach that finish line first, Ryder. And Get it all. Okay. Still ways away, but next gens. Be on the lookout for more updates on Riders Republic in the coming months. Yes, please, on Prince of Persia. Today, you got the first in-depth look at Immortals Phoenix Rising. Caught a glimpse of Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake. My number one pick for Got to song. fight off seven evil exes in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. And witness the big reveal of Riders Republic. Along with so much more. You can expect more reveals and news in the next Ubisoft Forward. Be sure to stay tuned for the post show. Featuring a walkthrough of Immortals Phoenix Rising and a Roller Champions show match. Hello. Alright. Whoa, that's kind of weird. Alright, so... Wow, Ubisoft, you really wowed me again this year. Um, I'm beyond pumped for Prince of Persia. I know I don't really play it, mu play new games much on the show when they're released, but I'm almost thinking about it for Prince of Persia. That's how much of a fan I am. The Phoenix Rising that they're going to show, that looks fun too. I'd say we'd watch a, a, a walkthrough whatnot, but I think we saw enough. We're already almost going into an hour, and I mean, I don't like keeping you guys too, too long ever, if, if needed. So the fact that the main show was only about probably 40 minutes... But, uh, the best game of the show, like I said this year, I'm, I'm really not going to say too much, like, there are no losers. The fact that we're even getting games this year with everything going on. But Prince of Persia is definitely my number one. Immortals Phoenix is probably third, with, uh, still Watch Dogs being in its second. But, unless Nintendo kind of tells us when, if they're doing E3 or just their monthly whatever Nintendo Direct, I believe the last conference, which should be in a few days, will be the PlayStation one. And that'll be fun to watch, too. At least I think it's PlayStation. We'll have to wait and see for sure. But, if it is, that'll be the next episode for Rose Play Presents. But, until then, remember, keep gaming, never give up, and let's reverse time once more. Please, Ubisoft. Bring out the other two as remakes. Let Prince of Persia do great. But, until then...